Oh, well, welcome, <laughs> Martin and Gary. Thank you very much for coming in. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Um, I, you know, this all came from the Kemp's tr true, wasn't it? So this all is true, a, yeah. all true. Um, but it's so clever. Yeah. What you've done? How did you come up with the concept of it? Well, well the concept was uh, put together by um, the director and producer Rhys Thomas, who did something with me. I did uh, called um, Brian Pern. And that's kind of mockumentary style. And he came to me and he said, do you think Gary would be up for it? And straight away I thought, no, he's far too sensible for this because this is really <laughs> stupid, really. And uh, I showed it to Gary and he was up for it. And, uh, you know, from there, I knew that it would be funny. I knew. Oh, well, when, when it opens up, right, with, with Gary deciding he needs to go to the countryside to write Spandau, the ballet. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm in. I'm invested in it right from the start. So, yeah, to... This follows on from the first one that we did uh, three years ago, um, and it's meant to be Reese following us for a year. Well, it is. Yeah. He's following us. Actually, it's always confusing. I don't know whether yeah, it's yeah. us sitting here or yeah. those guys sitting here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, my character's quite pretentious, um, and he, he wants to write Spandau well, the Ballet. a bit Ballet. more pretentious. A bit more pretentious than <laughs> the real thing. And, uh, and, and so I've gone to the country to get my head together, to get my art together, and, uh, and I've fallen out with Martin because he's written this, this awful autobiography called Afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> and I've not done very well in it. Um, um, but he's married to Pepsi and Shirley, of course, who are both, both, both of them. <laughs> yeah, at the same now time. divorcing him, so I get lumbered yeah. with him in the country and all kinds of things happen yeah. from there. How did you keep a straight face filming this? I it, mean, it was <laughs> impossible, to be honest. I mean, there was one moment, right, in, in this new one where Gary and I share a bed and it was just like Laurel and Hardy. You know, it was just those old school Morecambe and Wise at Christmas that you've seen and two guys in bed. And I've gone there because there's a witch in the house and uh, I'm, we're scared. And it's just amazing, just amazing. How, how do you do it? Because I work with my brother and sometimes we're in meetings and he'll go, oh yeah, like that time you wet your pants. I'm like, we're in a meeting. <laughs> save, save that stuff. <laughs> but this is what comes out, really. I think the fact that we are brothers and we have that history together and we can draw on all of that experience in humour is, is what we try and get on screen, you know? Mm. In fact, the fact that we really are brothers is the only, probably the only honest thing that goes on in these, in these documentaries. But um, also it's the bit that grounds it, isn't it? Because it yeah. is so heightened and so yeah. ridiculous that the bit that grounds it and, you know, pins it down is the fact we are brothers. But it's been a pleasure, you know, we've worked together for 50 years or something. Yeah. You know, I remember the first thing we did was for the BBC, it was Jack and Ori, and I was maybe 11 and he was nine. Yeah and we're playing a couple of Arsenal supporters, yeah. which is who we are. <laughs> wow, OK, so, I mean, showbiz was destined for you, uh, then, right? Uh, from, well, from a kind young of, age. Um, you know, Gary and I were lucky enough to go to uh, the Anisha Children's Theatre. Anisha, we lost her recently, yeah. sadly. But she pretty much is responsible for, I think, both mine and Gary's personality. Yeah, in she a was way. A, a great mentor. Yeah. I mean, Martin was a really shy kid. Yeah. So this is your drama teacher, yeah. Anna Scherz. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and where, where were you um, with um, Anna too then? Because I think a lot of people came out of your school, didn't they? They're very, oh, yeah. very, some really talented people, so she must have been very good at her job. Oh, she was absolutely amazing. She was just a local teacher that had a drama club going and then she, it moved and it became bigger and bigger until in like the um, early 70s when I was going there, if any of the uh, BBC or ITV producers were looking for young Cockney actors, right. young kids, they would go straight to her. And that's yeah. how Gary and I ended up working on television yeah. at some, such young ages. Phil Daniels, uh, Pauline Quirk, Linda Robson. Yeah. Uh, uh, Patsy and, Palmer. And, she yeah, came out yeah, of there, yeah, Patsy, yeah, yeah. And Patsy. Dexter Fletcher, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Dexter's yeah. in this as well. Oh, is he? Lovely. <laughs> Dexter's directing the Spandau Ballet um, biopic that yeah. nice. we're trying to film with inside this this story. Oh. So, uh, you know, to ask this is, 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 um, is something else because you've been together for 50 years. It's a long time. What Have you had any, like, major highlights that you can remember and thought that? I'll never, ever forget that. Spandau Ballet wasn't bad. Yeah, Spandau. I, I think, for me, I always... My mind always goes back to uh, Live Aid. Yeah, yeah. Walking on stage on yes. that day with that beautiful blue sky, 100,000 people in the audience, 2 billion people out there watching on television. Tony going up to the mic and saying, this is a new one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Was, that was regretful. And, and you can feel this butterfly effect of two billion people around the world going, 
Oh, really? Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> but, but to yeah, be part of that. Live yeah, Vegas live was great. And magic. Yeah. How often, because the minute you came in in my head, immediately I was like, gold, oh, it's... And I said, don't sing it, don't sing it, don't sing it. How many times a day do you hear it sung behind you or is it shouted well, at you? <laughs> well, recently, I've been really buzzed by this because, you know, obviously I've heard it a lot of times, but to stand at, in, in the crowd at the Arsenal, yeah. which is my team and Martin's yeah. team, and to listen to all of the Arsenal fans singing goal. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Zinchenko. Yeah. Zinchenko's, yeah. yeah. Zinchenko. Uh, most of whom probably have no idea that standing here is the guy who, uh, you know, made it. You know, it's, that's, that's a real buzz. And it's a buzz yeah. for your boy uh, as well, uh, isn't uh, it? For, for all of us, yeah. Oh, that's really yeah. special. It's so lovely, you know, after all these years, you still just love each other like yeah. this. It's brilliant. Thank you so much for coming on and a oh, big Merry Christmas yeah. to you and Merry send Christmas. our love to the Kemp family, all oh, the rest of them. Yeah, There's a lot. Sorry.